Well, it was. Um, I thought our guys stuck with the game plan for the most part, executed down the stretch, made our free throws because they really put on an, an ex exhibition of making threes. They're just, I was very impressed. Obviously, you know, uh, Coach Dunleavy does a good job with his team. They were, you know, they really, you know, I thought our guys executed well, but they really executed at the end of the game, made shots. They were just uh, remarkable threes from where they were making them. Making seven out in the last, I guess, six, five or six minutes was just it's an incredible display of shooting. But again, Jeremiah had another solid game. I thought we, again, down the, you know, at the end of the game, you have to make your free throws to keep a team at bay. That's 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 shooting like that. So I thought we got good balance scoring. Uh, this may be the first time we've had two, four, five guys in double figures maybe all year long, maybe once before that. But I thought. We were doing a good job defensively in the first half, really challenging shots, and then we we had some breakdowns defensively and some turnovers that that helped them get back in the game. Any questions? Another career night for Jeremiah. 31 points, 15 for 15, 40 minutes play. What else can you expect from him? Did no, I just said he did a fantastic job. It was outstanding. Uh, 15 for 15. You know, I don't think I've seen a player, you know, go 15 for 15. You know, on my team before from the free throw line. So he was focused and locked in from the beginning of the game. Probably should have got him some rest there in the first half. Uh, but we got in foul trouble in the first half. And we needed his steadiness to keep us going. And he did, a, he did a good job. Coach, has this team reached its full potential? And if not, what other areas do you need to improve in? I don't think you ever reach your full potential. You know, uh, you, know you have to constantly guard against – um, you know, prosperity, you know, when you, you know, just like tonight. But I mean, when you're up by 18, 20 points, 19 points in, at the halftime, and, and I tell them all the time, the most insignificant score is a halftime score. And so you, you got to guard against that. So that's the thing that we have to do and be a little more serious minded about our, uh, about our play. And, um, and you saw that happen right at the, during that stretch. When um, when Tulane made all those shots, back, got back in the game. We had a flurry of turnovers. Guys got off the, well, got out of the game plan. Tried to do things that that they just can't do. And so we've got to. Guess those areas have to really get better. Well, we're getting better rebounding. We're we're taking better shots. That's why we're shooting better. We're limiting uh, who dribbles the ball, who does what, and. Uh, Look like I'm gonna have to limit them even more in late game. Any questions? Any other um, questions? Yeah. In terms of Mike Parks, his productivity, how much does having that, you know, consistent low post threat just open up the offense in general, having him as a you know, a viable threat down? It does. It, it it's a major uh it does make a uh, make a difference in the game. I think it allows Jeremiah and other players to flow smoothly because now, you know, they, they're not double teaming him, but if he can score down there, that's – and get their post players in foul trouble and keep attacking the basket. I mean, everybody wants a inside-outside game. That's the name of basketball. You're either going to drive it to the basket or throw it inside and throw it back out. And he's been playing very unselfishly with, with three assists. You know, he's really struggled with assists this year, but I was impressed that he did – yeah, one time he dribbled too much and turned it over, but otherwise he, he was he was pretty efficient. Um, you talked about on, on after the game against Tulsa on Saturday about adding some new wrinkles to the offense. Jeremiah also mentioned that tonight. How much uh, I, you can definitely see concerted effort, more off ball movement uh, within the offense. Is, is that what we're seeing out here? The new wrinkles that you added because you guys have really really stepped it up offensively the last two games. Yeah, again, I think it's guys are comfortable. As I said before, we're limiting who can. You know, you know, what happens when you have such a uh, array of new players and and players that have played this level? They want to, you know, it's just hard to because they've been used to having the ball. I mean, all of them are used to taking people off the dribble, and you can see it happen sometimes in the middle of the game, um, just like it did at the end of the game. But yeah, we we did some things to be a little more to keep it really simple for our guys and um, not complicate things. Uh, and that's, again, trying to get a feel for what we do best. And we finally figured it out to some degree. 
we never really truly figure it out, but but it helps when we can identify um, an offense that um, that gives us that flow and that movement. You know, we were playing, trying to play motion offense where guys had to make a lot of decisions, and now there's not a whole lot of decisions having to be made. Toby, how, you guys have played exceedingly well here at FedEx Forum with a road game coming up. How do you, what do you think standing in this team's way from from winning on the road or not winning here? Is there anything you've? It's always tough on the road, so we'll we'll you know the mentality has got to be that we're, you know we're got to be road warriors. We've got to be you know, our concentration level has got to be, has to be better. Um, I just think that we're doing some things. Um, in our offense and defensively that allows us to not expose ourselves and break us down defensively. I think that's I think that's gonna be a big big help to us on the road. Any other questions? Pardon me? Well it was, you know, a couple of calls but they're they're part of the game. They make mistakes just like I make mistakes, just like players make mistakes. So, uh, again, I was just – maybe I didn't know some of the rules that you could, you know, go back and look at things, and that's what – but obviously you can't. So that's something I'll keep in mind. Parks and Jeremiah have been playing very well for you the last couple of games. Mike Parks? Yeah, 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 Parks and Jeremiah have been playing very well for you offensively. But who else has been doing the little things to bring this team, you know, to improve this team? Well, they all have. As I said before, I think guys have been a lot more unselfish in in um, in sharing the basketball. Just like tonight with 15 assists, we probably should have had 20 assists again. Uh, but we were trying some passes that w really wasn't there. Um, so uh, I think that's the most important thing is just everybody understanding their roles and um, – and doing doing their job. I'm sorry, question. I lost my train of thought there. What was your question again? Oh, I, I think um, I think guys coming off the bench, especially especially Jamario, he's made a big difference because the ball flows when he's out there. It doesn't stick. He's the most veteran player we have. It really hurt us not having him healthy, even when we even when he was playing. But I think he's now um, completely healthy, and that's been a big help. Could you, think, uh, could you t uh, go look back the last two minutes of the ball game? Because it seemed like you had a big lead coming down the stretch. Yeah, and did. then they started knocking down big shots after big shots. Like, what yeah. just happened down the stretch? They made shots. And we had some defensive breakdowns and turned the ball over. Let me see. At 623 mark, we had an 18-point lead. Uh, we turn it over, they score. We go down, we foul, they make you know, on a three-point shot. That's how you get teams back in the game. Right away it goes from 18 to 14, and it could have been 13. Just from 623 to, four, to 456. That's where, that's where you have problems. When you do things like that, it costs you. And then they get their momentum, they get excited, they're energy, they're energized, and then now they now they're making shots, making jumpers, uh, and that's that's how it happens. You see it all the time. Watch any game. I'm sure that Georgia felt like they had the game in hand last night. It's never over. Thank you. Any other question? Well, I'm sorry. What's the question? Yeah, he's always been a willing passer. I just think he's felt like he's had to carry us a lot early on, and now that we're able to do, as I said before, we've made some, you know, added some, some more movement in our offense, and it's been a big help to him, especially.